Hello, welcome back to the channel. Coming up in this episode. And no touching me up there this time, please. Well, I was just trying to give you a cuddle because I thought it was a moment that you were scared by the edge. It'd be rude not to go for that point at the Badger. Well, you know this is going to be good. So let's get into it. Cue the intro. Well, we've just come off that track and we're kind of staring at the map and then we realise we're right at the entrance of Hard Knock Pass to the left. Now, we know we've done that in bad weather. It's a bit clearer today, but we're not going to do it again. But what we are going to do is we're going to head up to where I did a shot last time I was here, which is just picturesque. And I know, again, it's bad weather and clouded up, but it is really pretty. So I am just thought I'd take the sidekick up there to show them that pretty place. And no touching me up there this time, please. I didn't touch you before you went with me last time, mate. No, but you tried touching me when we were at the top of Hard Knock Pass. I was just trying to give you a cuddle because I thought it was a moment that you were scared by the edge. <laughs> right, OK. Yeah, I won't touch you this time. I might push you. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. gorgeous up here, nice, mate. isn't it? We've been lucky today again. Yeah, compared to weather forecast, was literally chucking it down conti continuously. Well, I think it's we've, slowly getting worse now, isn't it? But we're going to make the most of it. Yeah, we've got literally had a sprinkle, like a horrible mist sprinkle. And you say it's getting a little bit thicker. Um, but I'd say for us, we, when we've kind of had enough, we've had enough and we'll call it a day and hibernate to the pub. But I'm glad that we're making the most of this last day, regardless on how rubbish the weather is. Well, I don't know why I'm standing up permanently now, but... Uh, it, feels, it, feels, it feels good, good. I, I like, like it, it now. now. Yeah, you kind of get used to it, don't you? When you start... Um... <laughs> when you sat down, I feel a bit... <laughs> was it a bit cramped? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like you're not free. So suddenly no. it's like a bit of off-roading. At the beginning, you feel knackered for doing it. And after a while, it becomes like your natural position. Yeah. Yeah, I've sat down. I feel like I'm on a, a little bike or something. It feels a bit <laughs> weird now. Right, I'm going to sit down because it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm standing up all the way up there. Five miles later. That's where we're going, mate. Over there, where you can see in between the mountains, that's where we're stopping. Oh, oh that would be, nice. be nice. Be prepared to be amazed. Town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about her next day. It was easier than so much easier than. Oh, like that time I picked you up outside of school. You said, Screw my dad, I make my own rules. It was easier than so much easier than. Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe Yeah, we stopped at nothing, babe Well, that's the view. Unfortunately, it is definitely too wet to send up the drone. What's a real pity, but it is a stunning view. The sidekick's really enjoying it. He offered to give me a cuddle, and I just said, look, dude, back off a bit. You're a bit too much. There's an event going on behind us as well. There's marshals. It looks like some sort of running event. So we're going to continue on, but what an absolutely fantastic view, and... It's nice to be back, to be fair. I just wish I could share it with you guys with a drone, but it is what it is. Well, Sidekick, what did you think to that very romantic, beautiful view? Oh, it was nice. Yeah. Um, at least it didn't try to touch me this time, which probably just because those people were there, though. Yeah, there was a lot of people there. There was a lot of good, nice event. Those runners were, um, well, quite clearly, they enjoyed pie as much as us because they were in as good a shape as us, I'd say. Yeah, I think they were running to that pie shop, though. I think you're right. I think they probably... He said yesterday that they were getting a new batch of steak in because they'd sold out. And um, that's where they're off to, isn't it? Yeah. Makes perfect sense now why anyone wants to run over mountains. Yeah. 
That's the quickest way from their house to the pie shop, so. Ah, perfect sense. Well, anyway, we're still heading off down this road now where it's um, just extremely pretty. <laughs> oh, car coming. Oh, yeah, sorry, um, I forgot to tell you. Anyway, after I nearly died because the psychic didn't warn me about the car coming around the sharp bend, um, we're heading down this amazing, beautiful pass on this amazing, beautiful Himalayan, and of course, the psychics on these rubbish pit are brilliant. Now we've found a place called the Badger's Bar, so it'd be rude not to go for that point at the Badger. I love a good Badger. Sidekick, we've just stopped at 1624. I didn't read that off the sign up there, by the way, at all. Whatever Badger Arms, whatever it's called, pub, because we all have a good badger in. And now we've had some non alcoholic beer and we feel quite good, but we're heading back now. And that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Because when we get back to the campsite, we are literally going to chill out, have a few beers, relax, and then tomorrow morning we load the bikes on and we're done. Yeah. Do you feel a bit, do you need a hug? Not right now, no. Should we just get back? Are you wet and cold and had enough? <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm all right, but yeah. to be fair, now we've had a, a non-alcoholic beer, I could do with another non-alcoholic beer, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I could do with about four more of these non-alcoholic beers. <laughs> now we've had the taste for the non-alcoholic beer, we, we could do with some more, so... And obviously, we wouldn't drink anything and ride a bike, so we're going to go back and have a beer. Yeah, more non-alcoholic beers that are completely non-alcoholic. Yeah. But what an adventure it's been, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been, to be fair. Now, my poor little Himalayan stuck up an engine management code, put a light up. It's running perfectly fine, but to be fair, it's had a good walloping off-road today. Um, that'll probably clear in a couple, of, uh, a couple of turns of the key as such. But do you know what? What an adventure. What a trip. We went all the way to Scotland. And we've gone all the way then back down to the Lake District. And we've done it in a nice way. The weather's been poor at most times, but we've still had a hell of an adventure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we've both done it on our new bikes. Mine's, I've got to say, I'm really happy with this. The only thing, as I've said from the beginning, that's annoying is no fuel gauge and the foot pegs. But apart from that, this bike has performed absolutely brilliantly. I've done more miles on it in this trip than I think it's done in the last couple of years. But I love it. Good. Both well, of us are uh, loving the new bikes. So it's where we're going to go next. Well, I was going to say, we are loving it, aren't we, at the minute? We're getting adventure after adventure after adventure. It's madness. We're about to go into winter. So while we're filming this, um, for anybody on, the U on YouTube, obviously we're quite a few uh, episodes... In, in front on the old patron so right now this is early October while this is being filmed and we're going to hopefully plan to get another adventuring together in November before Christmas is our plan we're hoping to take the monkey bike and Vespa next but we'll just see how we feel and what we want to do but um, to be fair I'm looking forward to the next one already yeah absolutely absolutely I mean who doesn't love a good adventure Exactly, that's what this whole channel is about. A bit of diversity with different bikes and reviews and, you know, local videos and then obviously out for the epic adventures and the crazy silliness. And we've had a right giggle, absolute right giggle. Well, what an adventure. Do you know what? We have had an absolute blast on this trip. The Monkey Cycle Camper Van has pretty much done me so proud. Got me all the way to Scotland and then down to Lake District. The same with the Himalayan, and then the awesome company, the sidekick, the hero, Mr. Dazza. What a trio and what a blast that we've had. But then, of course, we always save the best till last. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the big adventure to montage. Enjoy. <laughs> I 
I've made mistakes Crashed and burned So many chances No time to learn I need to find another way To make things right I won't be coming back again A second time Can't take it back Everything you've done You know youth is wasted on the young We still don't know Where we belong Time will tell us where we went wrong You know youth is wasted on the young On the young Say Bye. 
surprised by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. I wanna get high on caught by surprise by you. Want you to make. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know.